The use of LIDAR has expanded across a wide range of industries, from agriculture to urban planning. To name a few examples, LIDAR can be used to create elevation surfaces, determine vegetation density, navigate safely through crowded city streets, and detect hidden archaeological features. So, what is LIDAR and how is it used in ArcGIS Pro? LIDAR, Light Detection and Ranging, is an active optical remote sensing method, which uses laser light pulses to measure distances to a surface or area. The LIDAR system emits laser pulses that reflect off objects, generating one or more returns with each pulse. This method results in highly accurate location and height measurements in the form of a mass point cloud dataset. Using ArcGIS Pro, you can visualize and analyze LiDAR data, as well as create derivative products such as elevation and surface models. LiDAR Data Formats LiDAR point cloud data is primarily stored in a binary format named LOSS. The LOSS format specification is developed and maintained by the American Society for Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing, ASPRS. LOSS files contain a header with metadata pertaining to the LIDAR survey, as well as information on each LIDAR point, such as its location, X, Y, Z values, the number of returns, and the return number. To efficiently share, publish, and archive LIDAR files, which typically contain millions to billions of points, you can convert LOSS files to compressed ZLAS and LAZ files. There are different purposes for each one. Identify LiDAR storage options. Often, you will need to work with more than one LiDAR file at a time. Rather than work with each one individually, you can add multiple files to a LOSS dataset or a mosaic dataset. Then, you can store and manage your files as a collection of LiDAR data, which will save you time and streamline your workflows. In general, a LOSS dataset enables you to work with LiDAR point data in its native format. A mosaic dataset stores and manages raster and imagery data, as well as LiDAR data. The option that you choose depends on how you intend to use the LiDAR data. LiDAR in 2D and 3D one of the main advantages of using LiDAR point cloud data is that each LiDAR point contains not only the location measurement, X, Y, of an object, but also its height or elevation, Z. Because of this Z-value measurement, you can easily view and work with LiDAR data in 3D scenes in ArcGIS Pro in addition to 2D maps. To view LiDAR data in 3D, you can either add the data directly to a 3D scene or if you are already working with the data in a map, you can convert the 2D map to a 3D scene. That does not change the data itself, only the way that you are viewing it. If your LiDAR data is managed in a loss dataset, you can optimize its 3D display performance by indexing your data in a loss dataset pyramid structure. LiDAR Visualization Options In ArcGIS Pro, you can render LiDAR data as points, surfaces, and lines in 2D maps and 3D scenes, based on the attribute information that is associated with each return. 1. Point-based Rendered as points, which are symbolized by elevation, class, return number, or intensity. 2. Tin surface-based Using elevation values, LiDAR returns are rendered as triangular irregular network, tin, surfaces, and are symbolized as elevation, slope, or aspect. 3.10 line-based, using elevation values, LiDAR returns are rendered as contour lines or triangular irregular network, tin, edges. Raster derivatives. One of the most important purposes of LiDAR is creating derivative products that can be used for further visualization and analysis. While vector derivatives, points, lines, and polygons from LiDAR data are commonly used in 3D analysis workflows, raster derivatives can be used in many different types of 2D and 3D analysis workflows, which specifically require a raster input. Digital Elevation Models, DEMs, Digital Surface Models, DSMs, Digital Height Models, DHMs, also known as Canopy Height Models, CHMs, and intensity rasters are examples of potential raster derivatives from LiDAR data. A DEM represents the Earth's terrain and is created from LiDAR ground returns. 
A DEM can be used as a 3D elevation source layer and as input to multiple analysis workflows, such as flood modeling, line of sight analysis, and terrain analysis. A DSM is created from the highest LIDAR returns and represents both the ground, or bare earth, and the highest point of objects, such as tree canopies and building roofs. A DSM can be used to create 3D visualizations and as input to analysis workflows, such as landslide modeling, vegetation density analysis, and viewshed analysis. A DHM represents the height of objects and is useful in 3D modeling of buildings and other objects. A DHM is created by subtracting DEM elevation values from DSM elevation values. The DHM is calculated by using a raster function or a geoprocessing tool. An intensity raster displays the return strength of the laser pulse that was reflected to the LiDAR sensor. Intensity rasters are useful for feature detection and extraction.